What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and I wanted to take a minute to do a video on a really cool gift that I got in the mail. So it was sent over the weekend from Justin Langley from Louisiana. So shout out to Justin. And um, let's go ahead and open this up and I'll kind of walk you through the surprise inside. All right, so thanks again, Justin, for sending us this gift. I was not expecting anything to ever come up this YouTube channel, but I'm pretty excited. Ooh, so we've got, it looks like some sterile, or uh, some scalpels and some sterile blades and some micropore tape. So that's really exciting. And we've got a letter in here. So, I hope you don't mind. Um, all right, but. so it's from Justin Langley. He says, Gary, hope all is well with you and yours. Thanks for accepting my gift. Thank you for sending this. It's super exciting. I have these custom made these days, so I assume he's talking about his uh, blade handles. I used to I used to weld extensions on the handle of regular number seven handles. I know this will increase sterility and tissue culture when used as described in your email. So I do remember the email. Um, I get a lot of emails, so if that slipped my mind, sorry about that. But um, yeah, so I remember him saying that he ha he sells custom handles. Um, I do I do sell them through my email address and Etsy page. Um, so Lab Rats Nola, if you guys want to check out his Etsy, Lab Rats Nola, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demo with these blades and kind of think, you know, or just go through what I think about these handles, and maybe um, in the future I'll start doing some commentary on different tools and unboxing videos and if you guys have any custom equipment or um, laboratory tools like this feel free to email me or send um, send them through the mail and I'll do my my best to kind of um, critique them and I'm gonna be doing some cloning so the rest of this is um, I also rebuild furbish rebuild refurbish vintage and use lab equipment back decinerators stair loops multi magsters I have a kilogram of heat stable antibiotics and much more but this is for you to use enjoy the shrooming Justin Langley from Louisiana so thank you very much um, I was about to start cloning a uh, uh, summer oyster mushroom that I was gifted by Mushroom Cult, my friend Zach over at Mushroom Cult, and I'm gonna try to use these um, blade handles and see how it goes. So you can right. see here, um, I've got the summer oyster strain. I believe that um, it just didn't pin as well because you can see I'm growing enokis in these colder temperatures, and it was um, harvested in the summertime, but I really want to collect spores so I can cross it with some commercial strains this winter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and harvest one of these really nice clusters. All right guys, so I've got my workstation set up to do some cloning. Um, you can see I usually sterilize my blade handles and the sterilization pouch. Um, this one, is not coming sterile, but I'm still gonna use it because we're just gonna be cloning some mushrooms, so it's not um, required to be 100% sterile, and we're gonna be using sterile blades. It looks like there's some micropore tape right here, but um, I'm gonna use my parafilm to seal up the plates, but thanks again, and um, everyone should check out Justin's uh, Etsy Lab Rats Nola. All right, let's let's get into these blade handles. So first impression, really heavy, nice stainless steel. You can see significantly longer than my uh, normal blade handles, maybe extra three inches or so. 
it's got a, a rubber or silicone grip handle, which is you know pretty comfortable. Um, and then I like the thin ergonomics up front. It's definitely pretty long, so that would be good for working um, in a still air box or if you're using a jar like I'm showing to cut your wedges. Um, Alright, so I've got some things uh, set up here and I'm going to check out what kind of blades are in this package. Usually I use the number 11 blades just because they're nice and sharp. Um, it looks like there's some number 10s, so I'll just grab some of my own blades here. And we'll start to crack into this uh, summer oyster mushroom from Mushroom Cult. Alright, so that was really nice. It slid right on. You can see how snug the blade fits onto the handle compared to the older ones that, you know, they get worn out and those grooves can get crusty. So it's nice to have stainless steel where it connects. Um, one of the things that I like to use for safety are these little blade um, disconnectors. You can get those at Mushroom Cult as well. So one thing um, that I like to do when I clone is to crack it open so you don't want to slice it so that you'll carry any contamination from the outside to the sterile tissue. But I really like the, uh, the feel of this blade when I'm working in close. Um, the other blades can dig into your fingers over a while and, you know, it takes some getting used to. Alright, so it was an easy cut and, you know, can definitely keep my distance using that extension. Not as easy to cut from the end. So, it's cool. It feels like a pen more than like a, a harder tool. Um, and it's definitely got some weight, so I feel like, especially for some polypore mushrooms or the harder mushrooms to clone, it could definitely be helpful there. One um, criticism I have is that I'm not sure if the blade remover would fit on the end, but um, I feel like it's designed that way to give the blade a, a nice area to rest on. But yeah, it looks like it's right in the way of where I would remove the blade with my blade remover. Um, so yeah, that seems to be my only critique, but I can just do it the old fashioned way and just, um, I'll show you my technique for removing the blades with your thumb and the spare packaging. So normally it would just slide off, but um, you can always just press it up with your thumb and there you go. So yeah, you can see that that bevel blocks the blade remover, but overall I really like this uh, blade handle and I look forward to using these in the future. So one more time, it's um, Lab Rats. NOLA on Etsy. So thanks again Justin for sending these awesome blade handles. Um, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're looking for more mycology videos like these. And check out um, Justin's Etsy. It's a Lab Rats NOLA. And if you're looking for fresh healthy mycelium cultures, check out our Etsy Fresh Fungi. Um, we've got loads of liquid cultures that are on deck, um, just waiting on QC and everything's looking pretty good right now. So we're excited. We're going to be having some mycorrhizal species that we collected over the, uh, over the summer. And then 
Um, I'm gonna be breeding some new oyster mushrooms and um, potentially some new beach mushrooms too, which I'm super stoked on. I've got some white beach mushrooms as well as our turtle shell that are already on the Etsy. Um, I think that does it. And let, let us know if you're looking forward to any more um, unboxing videos like these. Uh, that was super fun and random and um, I really appreciate that gift. Um, all right, Justin, so let us know in the comments if there's anything I missed on that, and I hope you enjoyed this critique. Um, all right, guys, until next time, much love.